There are 80,000 students enrolled in charter schools throughout the state, 23,000 enrolled in virtual online schools. But as 10 TV sports anchor, rather news anchor John Fortney reports, some parents worry that the governor's plan to scale back funding to virtual schools could limit their students' learning. Sophomore Colton Tomlinson is working on the chalkboard of tomorrow. She's going over our homework that we just did yesterday. Colton's working triangles. What's his favorite class? Probably geometry. That's what he's studying this morning. The laptop screen is the chalkboard and he hears the teacher through the headphones. We could raise our hands and she could give us rights to draw on the board and answer the question from the board. But Colton's mom, Kathy, is worried that the governor's plan for charter schools could limit their options for education. The local tax money does not follow my children wherever they go to the e-schools. But the state share does, and that's the problem. The governor's new virtual school plan would reduce the amount of state funding from $5,700 per pupil down to 2000 That's 65 percent. I feel that the program should be more about the way that children learn and being able to get them the education the best way that fits their needs. State Representative Chris Jordan sat in on Colton's class and understands why his mom's worried. I think it's, it's arrogance on the part of government uh, to think that we know better uh, than Kathy does or than other moms and dads do around the state how to educate children. Kathy's younger son Clint is also enrolled in a charter program. Their school achievement is measured by the State Department of Education just like every other public school. My children take the same tests that the traditional brick and mortar school children take. And she believes 100% of the state share of the funding should follow the student too. John Fortney, 10 TV News, Columbus. The governor's office believes the school funding plan for virtual schools is fair because they don't have the traditional overhead that normal brick and mortar schools have.